Good morning, beautiful people. Thank you for dropping in again and checking out what we're doing on Boddington Farm. Today I'm actually dehydrating. I'm having a really good day, so I'm trying to catch up on all the chores that I haven't done. If I'm having a good day, I just hook into it because who knows tomorrow I could be in bed. So dehydrating. So Agent and I are preppers as well. So dehydra dehydrating our produce also makes it last and it takes up less space. So like peas, don't have to worry about the freezer. And I've, oh no, you can't see it there. These are some of the sun-dried tomatoes that I did last year as well. And I just put oxygen absorbers in them to keep them fresh. And as you can see, if anyone cans, there's no popping. So the oxygen absorbers have taken out all the air. Got some dried onions. And this is what I'm doing over there. And that's dehydrating our eggs. Because at the moment, the girls are laying, oh, we've only got nine still laying, um, and they're giving us between seven and nine eggs a day. So we've got quite a few. The other thing we're doing with the eggs is we're actually water glassing them. That's something that Agent does. So I think we've got about six dozen. And it's actually in a solution of uh, lime and water, but he knows more about that and will no doubt do a video on that later. So dehydrating eggs. So what I've done is I've scrambled two dozen eggs. Now, you don't add any oil, any butter, salt, pepper, milk, whatever. You just want the eggs freshly cracked into your pan and then slowly scramble them up. So I actually have two dehydrators. I did the eggs in that one last time and I wasn't real happy how long it took. But I do have another dehydrator which takes these trays. So I'm going to put them in both dehydrators and see how they go. One great tip with dehydrators, you can see how they've got rather large holes in their trays. These silicon mats are amazing. I got that as a tip off another prepper. So you can actually buy them online and cut them to size. So I just bought mine, hang on, I bought mine on eBay so that, and then I've just trimmed them down to what I need. The rectangles for those ones and yeah, good on you, Bibby. I should have taken those out beforehand. And the circular ones for that dehydrator. So, let's get on dehydrating all these eggs. It should take between... Um, well, in that other dehydrator... It took me probably 10 to 12 hours, I think, if not more, to dehydrate. And I was constantly switching trays over, which is a pain in the butt. This one, I still have to change trays over, but not as often. And they get a hell of a lot more airflow than the other dehydrator, which you'll see. Oh no, I should have cleaned up my dishes first, shouldn't I? <laughs> so this kitchen actually is brand new because um, Agent only bought this property probably two and a half years ago and it was a rental property and it had been neglected for over 10 years. So this is my little dehydrate. I can go up to 80 if I want on for four hours then we'll see what happens so if you can hear a noise it's not the rain it's going to be a hundred here today or 38 for us Aussies and I've got the fan on so anyway 
I, sh I should put this up as a brag anyway. So this place was a rental and it desperately needed a new kitchen. So agent actually put this all together himself. Don't mind that corner cupboard, he's gotta fix that up. So I've got a lovely new kitchen and my random table because at times I can't stand up to prep dinner and stuff. And these actual shelves that he made are out of the old kitchen. So we've got part of the old still in the kitchen. And this house is about, I think we worked it out, it's about, it's over a hundred years old. Anyway, <clears throat> great photography Viv. Now, let's get this underway so I'll pop you down on the bench and turn you around. If it'll let me. Nope, won't let me. Good on you Viv. Oh, well, I'll just do it that way then. That's easier, isn't it? Yes, we're still learning. We're gonna make our mistakes. And I hate editing, so you get what you get. If that's okay with you guys. All right, so we just pop out our trays. Probably only need three. And pop on the life savior. If you don't have these silicon mats on, it is such a pain because as the eggs dry, of course, they get smaller and smaller. And the holes in these trays, check that out, they're ginormous. And then they also fall down in the center, which is also issues when you're doing the veggies. And they all just congregate down the bottom near the fan, which you're constantly trying to empty out. Okay, we'll start with three. Come on, work with me. I think I must have cut this one too big. Don't mind the shaking hands. I have um, a form of Parkinson's. So sometimes they shake, sometimes they don't. That'll do you. Get rid of these ones. to do to chop up the eggs a bit so yeah I scrambled two dozen eggs because yeah our girls are going crazy and you just evenly put them out or we'll try and put them evenly out on your trays so I'm hoping having the silicon mats this time it'll be a bit more successful than last time. Just don't, if you're doing dehydrating, don't um, put too much on your racks because you need that airflow. So hopefully I can get all these eggs on the three trays, which I should be able to. while I'm doing this. Yeah, so um, agent bought this house two and a half years ago and it was a rental for 10 years and it was very, very neglected. So before we moved in, we actually renovated the majority of the inside because it was so bad and, you know, I need certain disability aids in the shower and being able to get into the shower etc so we turned the old lounge dining room office into my bedroom and walk-in robe and I've got a beautiful fireplace in there for winter and agent has got 
one of the smaller bedrooms at the front of the house so that he can hear me if I need him during the night. And the old master bedroom um, was actually turned in to the lounge room or the living room or however you want to call it. So, and in this area in the kitchen and the new lounge room, it was actually pulled back all the way to studs. Our builder was phenomenal. So, I this all spread out. So I'll give you a quick look so you know what I'm talking about. I hope there's enough light. So the kitchen now goes in to the lounge room, which makes much better sense than the lounge room being at the other end of the house. And this was, yeah, all of it, all stripped back. New ceilings, new floors, and agent laid all them himself as well. Okay, let's get back into this and get it on. Otherwise, I'll be babbling for hours. Okay, now this, this dehydrator, you actually can't put a temperature on it, but you can run it at two different settings. So we just stack these up like this. Got it. Stick the lid on, and then we just turn it on on the highest setting and see what happens. So, I hope I've given you a little bit of in inspiration to do some dehydrating. It does take a lot less space, especially if you prep. Um, and don't forget my tip silicon mats in your dehydrator game changer. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for popping in and watching my haphazard video. So I will catch you around. Thank you, guys. Bye.